I know my energy is probably gonna be like, I don't know, a two. We usually are like on 10 here. One, I'm cramping, the things women can do through pain. Mm -hmm. Two, this is my second time recording this. I got through an entirely stunning, like fall, rosy look. And I didn't capture none of it on the cameras. I am gonna be reviewing today the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. This is my first time trying it. If it's not new to you, bye. I figured I would give it a try because I love their concealer a lot and I really enjoy their bronzer. Um, if you are watching this, I have already reviewed the Primrose palette. So if you're interested in that. Um, so just going off of the packaging first, you know, that's what we like to talk about. Came in a box. Um, it's a glass bottle square. Immediately it gives me NARS natural radiant foundation vibes just by the packaging. Has pump, has top, like, you know, same type of packaging. I do not mind glass bottles, but I do prefer plastic. So I'm gonna pump out three pumps of this. The shade I got in this is 470C. Um, I purchased this online from Sephora, and the reason why I got that shade is because when I looked at the model, she looked like, sh like me. So I was like, I should get her. So that is the shade 470C. This is a medium coverage foundation and I will say it is true to that. Like it is definitely a medium coverage. It's not full. You are gonna have to like build it up if you want full coverage, which to me does not bother me. I don't necessarily need um, full coverage all the time. One thing I will say that I noticed when using this foundation though, is the finish is interesting. So like when I saw Luminous, I immediately think like wet, dewy, like shiny finish, like looking foundation. And it's giving me like a, a different type of feel. I'm going in um, and just applying like where I see fit but just off of one layer you are going to be able to see like your imperfections in your skin and everything so if you do want something that is like a little bit more full um you're gonna have to like go in with like you know a couple rounds just to make sure like everything's covered i could probably use like another shade like if i went in and shape match myself in sephora it does give me like a little bit more of a yellowy orangey I feel like undertone than what is like natural to me. Um, I used three pumps and that is how much I used. So I, you could probably get away with just using like one or two. If you like have it on a palette like this, if you have it like on your skin, it will probably like absorb into your skin a little bit. Uh, <gasps> this is just not my day. You guys know, I always like to do a transfer test. Um, and that is so that you can really get an accurate picture of where are my rolls okay that is so you can really get like an accurate picture of like do i need to wear a setting powder with this for it to stay all day um is it gonna just like have a lot of oil all of that jazz all right so without any setting powder this is the transfer a lot so you need something on top of her or you allow you want this on like your white shirt girl or your man's white shirt. You need to put something on. Hold on now. Okay, so that's not a lie. So hardly any oil comes off with this. So I'm going to use a translucent setting powder to set my chin just so I can see like is setting is this going to help lessen the transfer and then I'm also going to put a little bit up here on this side of my forehead to see if this will help or like eliminate any like oil coming off okay okay 
this is without and this is with so it still transfers but it's a lot less so you're definitely gonna want to put a setting powder down so that it's not all over you by the end of the day and then let's test out this side where i put the setting powder okay so it's basically like nothing still obviously so this is without and this is with so it's not giving off that much oil y'all this foundation might be a new favorite because i have yet to find a foundation that i feel like is such a good mix between matte and a like luminous dewy like finish like this gives me like such a nice like not overly dry but not overly shiny like i love to use setting powder y'all i feel like one thing that's kind of annoying to me sometimes is when i have to put on so much powder to kind of bring back some of that dewiness and shininess because yeah i like to look dewy and radiant but i also don't look want to look like i just like stepped in, into a bucket of chicken grease like I, it's not my seeds um so you kind of have to use a lot of powder sometimes to kind of like tone that look down with this i didn't feel like i had to do that much i still use my powder i still set bake my face everything like that like i usually do but i didn't feel like i need to apply an excessive amount to get it to look how i usually normally look so that is my finished look you guys she is a bomb foundation if you like me have waited this long to try the foundation this is your sign you don't have to wait no more go, go ahead and get her she is worth the money that's it for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed i will leave all the makeup details below do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on instagram my name is at niara alexis come on i think that's it i will see you guys next time